Hi, my name is Mandeep Arora. I'm a senior solutions architect for data protection at Pure Storage. And I'm Brian Puccinelli. I am the global alliance manager for Veeam Software. Today we are here to talk about the exciting stuff, Veeam Universal Storage API version 2. Before we jump into the real discussion, let's talk about US API version 1. Brian, why don't you go ahead and explain about version 1? Yeah, you bet. So uh, Veeam has a concept of a universal storage plugin for uh, API for uh, storage partners that we have, Pure being obviously one of those. This is what's in version 1 today. So you can pull volume-based snapshots from Flash Array, your primary system, onto Veeam. And then currently, how you if you want to replicate those snapshots to a secondary Flash Array in a different data center, different geo, uh, it's a manual process. It has to be done outside of the Veeam uh, user interface. Thanks, Brian. So as Brian mentioned that, so Veeam, Veeam has a very tight knit integration with Pure Storage Snapshots, where the customers have the capabilities to perform Veeam Snapshot on each job on the primary array. But in version one, uh, you need to perform the replication manually without Veeam's knowledge. But we have much more exciting stuff coming, with, coming in with the US API version two, where you can perform snapshots on the primary array, and you can replicate those snapshots to the secondary array through Veeam. Furthermore, you can also perform a backup of those snapshots on the replicated site and then avoiding the overheads of IOPS on the primary array. And moreover, you can also offload those snapshots to any NFS target or S3 targets. Brian, do you want to introduce about, uh, tell something more about on snapshot and replication with version two? Yeah, so as I mentioned on version one, right, there's a manual process that takes place there. Um, with, with actually uh, moving those snapshots to a secondary site. Um, with snapshot and, uh, snapshot and replication or orchestration capabilities, you can do all of that directly in the Veeam console. So now Veeam can talk to that secondary pure, pure storage array in a different data center. So now, in my mind, I, I look at that as a potential DR um, opportunity for customers that are looking to have secondary data centers to support disaster uh, scenarios. Let's talk about more on snapshot and replication, right? How you can achieve it. So in order to successfully get this replication done, you need to have a secondary FA. And you need to establish, establish the relationship, a replication relationship between those two arrays, primary storage and the secondary storage. And to successfully configure this job on the Veeam side, you would need to create a snapshot on a job and you need to make sure to select the secondary option in your job settings. And then you select the asynchronous replication to perform the replication successfully on the secondary FA. So this is how you can achieve the snapshots on the primary array with its own retention time, and then it can be replicated to the secondary storage with its own retention time for longer term, for longer retention periods. So this is how, how simple you can perform a replication job on the, from the Veeam. So let's talk about how you can perform a backup from the replica side. Well, so it's fairly simple and straightforward. So one have to do, uh, configure a backup job on the Veeam. So you need to configure a backup job. A backup job will, will perform a temporary snapshot on the primary array, and this snapshot will be transferred to the secondary array. Again, this is a temporary snapshot. And a backup job will be triggered off the secondary FA. And it can start reading the data from this FA and then can push it to any Veeam repo or a configure Veeam repo. So essentially my first backup could be offsite, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And then you can avoid all the overheads of IOPS or backup, uh, backup IOPS from the primary array and can offload it to the secondary FA. Okay, I, I think that's really cool, right? Because now I'm, I'm, I'm reducing the impact that I have on my primary storage systems that, that's running mission critical apps. And, and now I'm, I'm, I'm being just more efficient with the way I'm writing and protecting my data. Absolutely. And then you have more paths for recovery in case of disaster recovery. Yep. All right, so let's talk about snapshot offload. Brian, do you want to uh, give some introduction about this use case? Yeah, so the snapshot offload is, to me is really for longer term retention, compliance pur purposes. Um, so essentially, what I, what, the way I see snapshot offloading is for archival. Absolutely. So how you can achieve this, right? To successfully get this offloaded job uh, configured on the Veeam, 
you need to install the offload app on the flash array and you need to you need to configure the NFS target on the flash array. So you need to make sure to install offload app and then configure the NFS target. So once you set up this, so setting up a snap to a snapshot offload job on the Veeam is pretty straightforward. So you just need to create a snap only job. So what's what's going to happen is once you create the snap only job, you need to select the secondary storage option, and in the secondary storage option, you need to select the select the option to offload those snapshot to 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 the offload target. So once you once you have a snap only job configured on the Veeam, it's going to perform a snapshot on the primary array. Again, it's going to it's going to set its own retention time, whatever you set in your policy, and then later on, it's going to identify the archiving relationship uh, of those volumes, right, on the flash array, and it can it can push those snapshots and back it up to a NFS target for long term retention or for archival purposes for years, right, and and then in case of any disaster scenario, you have a path for recovery from the from the offload target. This is how simple you can configure configure the offload job. For more information about this solution, do check out my white paper at peerstorage.com. Brian, do you have any other opinions about this solution? Yeah, so I think it's it's really great, right? That I think that the Veeam and Pure Storage solutions for existing customers today, the, the capabilities are going to get that much better um, for the end user, right? So um, snapshot and replication, that's something that now is, doesn't have to be manual. Uh, backup and replica and actually moving backups to an offsite, a secondary copy offsite as my first backup. And then sn snapshot offload. I think all of these are really great features of what our customers want. And uh, we really uh, appreciate the partnership with Pure. Thanks for watching this video.